Hey, hey, Brian Sensei here. In this video, we're going to look at your security settings on Microsoft 365, formerly known as Office 365. Why is this important? Security is number one, especially in today's world. With this, you can go in and check your sign in activity. You can also turn on advanced security options. Let's take a look. Okay, so first we're gonna head over to office.com and we're gonna sign in with our Microsoft 365 account. Once we are here, we're gonna go up to our profile menu and we are gonna go to my profile. Okay, up at the top, you're going to see your info, privacy, and security. Let's click into security and you're going to be asked to provide your password again because you're accessing sensitive information. We'll go ahead and sign in again. Okay, so here you're going to see four key areas where you can work with your security settings. The first one allows you to review sign in activity. This is always good to review on a regular basis just to see if there was a sign in in a location that you never visited, that's a red flag that you should then change your password. The next item here is the password security. This is where you can go in and change your password. Now, when you do this, you are gonna be required to provide your current password and then type in your new password two times. Next, we have our advanced security options. In here, we can do things like provide multiple ways of verifying your account when you try to sign in on a device that's not trusted yet. So for example, this would be when you sign into a computer for the first time or a browser for the first time, you're gonna be asked for these additional verification processes. The first thing we see here is your password. Again, you can click here to change your password. You can view activity, and this is nice. You can see when you last changed your password. My recommendation on this is to change your password at least once every six months. All right, the next thing under that is text a code. And if you've provided your mobile phone address, then you can set this up here so that you receive a text code when you're signing into a new device or browser for the first time. And the third one here is send sign-in notification. With this process, you're going to use the Microsoft Authenticator app, which is basically a free download to your mobile phone. And it's a process for which you can verify that it is actually you who is signing into your account. And again, you can view the activity of when and where that's happened. And so I highly recommend that you turn both text to code and send sign in notification on so that you can stay secure. Some other things below this are additional security. So for example, you can actually do a passwordless account, which actually would make you more secure. The way this works is you never have a password. Instead, you use text to code or the Authenticator app in order to sign in. So this is actually more secure than the way I ha currently have it set up. And then here below this, you have sign me out. So if you think someone might have unauthorized access to your account, you can actually sign yourself out here and this will lock anybody out of your account completely. And it will also immediately sign you out of any browsers that are currently signed into. And then finally, we have recovery code. So you can generate a recovery code that can be used to access your account if you lose access to your sign-in info. So this is nice to have if for some reason you need to reset your password and you forgot what the current password is, you can go ahead and generate this code, keep it safe, and use that for recovering your account. 
And the final item here is stay secure with Windows 10 or 11, where you can check out information on using Microsoft Defender Antivirus. So this just explains how to utilize the Windows Defender Antivirus application that is built into Windows. And I'll actually be going over this in a future video. All right, well, I hope that was helpful. If there's something else specific you wanna learn about, let me know in the comments. Otherwise, I'll see you on the next one.